So where is this agentic future? Because at work, I don't have someone who takes over my most annoying tasks. And at home, nobody is planning our holidays. No one is restocking our fridge and no one is managing our calendars. And if the ChatGPTs of this world are so smart, why can't they just take care of those things as well? And the answer might actually surprise you. To understand this, we need to zoom out a bit because there are actually three tiers of AI agents. I like to think of them as three phases. We have the talkers, the operators, and the butlers. And moving from one phase to the next is exponentially harder. Just keep that in mind for a second. Now, let's start with the talkers. This is the territory of ChatGPT, the territory of large language models or LLMs. You ask, they answer, and they're pretty much an expert in any topic. For example, if you have no idea how to set your alarm on your phone, you can ask them. They will tell you where to tap and what to do, but they can't press the buttons for you. You still have to do the clicking. And don't get me wrong here, because having a friend who is an expert in any field and is always available in your phone is nothing less than amazing. But their agentic capabilities are limited. Today, they can research things for you, help you study, describe images, summarize videos, and do many other things. Yet, they cannot perform any actions for you. They can only talk. But once we cross that line, we enter phase two. And this is the role of the operators, the AI agents that can actually take action for you. You ask, they take care of it. If you have used ChatGPT in agent mode, you know just how amazing it is. Basically, OpenAI has given ChatGPT arms and hands. Now it can truly go out and do the clicking for you as well. For example, it can search and book the best flights for your needs. Yet you have to make sure it does not do something unexpected. So if we already have these capabilities, why are we not seeing more and more of these AI agents? Sure, there are others in the market like Manus AI. But if you think about it, the operators are the type of AI agents that will truly revolutionize the way we work and do things. So why are we not seeing more of them? And this is where reality kicks in. And you might think it's due to integration problems, but the issues are actually something else. And before we even consider butlers, we need to solve four major challenges. Consistency, reliability, context window, and scalability and personalization. First, LLMs are not consistent. You have probably noticed this yourself. Same question, different answers, sometimes brilliant, sometimes nonsense. And that inconsistency is a deal breaker when you want an agent running tasks for you. What if does have an agent if every 10th attempt it does not deliver what you are expecting? Second, reliability. Large language models are just very complex math and statistics, which means they're amazing at spotting patterns, but that also means they confuse correlation and causation. Imagine an AI that comes to the conclusion that doctors make people sick just because it spotted a correlation between people being sick and visits to the doctor. This is something we cannot accept on autonomous agents. They have to be reliable. Take, for instance, an autonomous car that makes the wrong decision driving at over 100 kilometers per hour. Third, the context window. The problem is that LLMs are not great at remembering stuff. And we can actually measure this with something called the context window. Currently, the state of the art is about 1 million tokens, roughly remembering the first five Harry Potter books which might sound like a lot, but for autonomous agents, it is not nearly enough. Just think for a second how much information you need to keep in mind while doing your job. You are constantly processing something new while remembering everything you did in the past. 
Finally, scalability and personalization. You probably know that AI is quite resource intensive. That is why big tech started to put hundreds of billions of dollars into building more data centers. Agents in the second phase need to be more personalized and need more time to think, and thus they need way more resources. But even with all these challenges, we have been observing a rise in the operators. Besides agent mode and Manus AI, we have a lot of coding agents. Take for instance, Gemini Klee. This is an AI agent specialized for coding that can open, write, edit, and save files, which is awesome because you don't have to copy and paste all the line of code. Now the agents can create many files at once. This is kind of mind blowing. Just try it by yourself. It is completely free. But now let's talk about phase three AI agents, the butlers. This is truly the dream. This is what most of us imagine when we hear AI agents. Here we are talking about the real assistant that is always running in the background, checking everything for you and doing all the annoying chores. In this case, you will be only involved in the process when necessary and you don't have to do quality checks all the time. However, we are far away from this to be a reality. We would need to solve all the challenges we have with the second phase agents and put it to the extreme. Just imagine how much memory such agents would need or the amount of resources. In fact, I am not even sure large language models such as ChatGPT have the potential to be the foundation of such agents, but that's a whole other discussion. Now, let's go back to reality in 2025, because this year marks the start of the era of AI agents that can truly take action. And I think 2026 will be the real year of AI agents. That's when we will see an exponential boom Agents will become more reliable, more consistent. They will scale better. Every one of us might end up with many small specialized agents. One for planning meals, one for handling groceries, one for managing our calendars, one for planning our holidays. Each one focused on a specific task in a controlled environment. So next time you hear this is going to be the year of AI agents, now you know what they actually mean and why it is so difficult. Thanks and see you in the next one. Bye.